We're going to do a per, uh, draw a person today that's very similar to Matt Man. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so watch me, and then you're going to get to do it. Okay, you remember, a person has one head for thinking, one body to hold what's inside, and two feet. Oops. And there's our person. All right, your turn. Okay, what's first? The head. The head. Go ahead and take the head. Put it on the paper. Good job. What's next? The body. Good job. Okay. For walking and two feet. Good job. Okay, so women have hair and does your mom wear a dress? Yeah. I'm going to give Catherine a clipboard with the paper tape down. It's easier for them to keep from wrinkling their paper, so it's a good thing to tape their paper down on something stable. Okay, now follow me. Let's start with the head. Go ahead. Draw a head. Good job. And now let's do our body. Okay, and the last thing we're going to give her is a dress. So, okay, see if you can do that. I can't. <laughs> I know what. Let's see what it looks like here. Okay, you think you can draw like that? Good. Okay, Catherine, I'm going to take out a few of the lines. And then I'm going to um, use my felt tip marker to give a little definition to your, your drawing of your mom. Okay, we're ready for crayons. Okay, Catherine, these are crayon rocks. And they come in lots of pretty colors. Let me just lay them out for you. Red and pink and dark blue and light blue things like this. Good. Okay. Children learn to draw best if what they want to draw is built up first from simple shapes. Here are the steps for the teacher. Build a complex picture twice using simple shapes and cutouts. First, make it quickly, then take it away. Then do it again, just much more slowly. Later you can put the shapes in the art center for children to play with. Next, with children facing you, draw the picture step by step on the board, allowing the children to copy you step by step. Optionally, you can smooth their lines after they're finished drawing and help bring out the definition they want by using a fine felt tip marker. This often helps them to see their picture as a whole and gives them the confidence they need to proceed with the coloring process. Guide them through the coloring process. Fill in small areas with the point of the rocks, and for larger areas, show them how to flip the crayon sideways and use broad strokes, layering the colors one over the top of the other. You can also scratch color off and add other colors. A staple puller works very well for this purpose. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and you know what? You've made a beautiful picture. We're going to sign your name to it. Can you spell Catherine? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Write your name right there. Wow, very good. That says Catherine. Beautiful picture. Aren't you happy? Yeah. Actually, the next color we're going to do is the grass green. So that's this one. So here's how you're going to do this. Take your grass green you know, and just follow those stems. And you don't have to worry too much about going outside of the lines. 